Hello, this is Al K0CN, and I'm back again with my Flex 6000 series radio. And today I'd like to go over the process for configuring the COM ports between N1MM Logger Plus software and the Flex 6000 series radio using Smart SDR. In this video, I'll be using Smart SDR version 1.8.4 and the current version of N1MM Logger Plus. I've been a user of N1MM Logger and the Plus version for several years now, but when I moved to the Flex Radio, I, I had a little bit of uncertainty about how to set up the interface between the Flex and N1MM. So in this video, we'll look at that process. First, let's open the Smart SDR cat window and take a look at the ports I've already created. You'll see that I have six ports and we'll only be using three of those for this N1MM Plus setup. First we have COM port 4 which will be the control port and exchange commands between the software and the radio. Next we'll be using COM port 5 which is a push to talk port and will control the transmit function of the radio. And finally we have COM port 9 which is the win key port and will enable us to use WinKey CW with N1MM. Now your Smart SDR CAT window may look different than mine, but if you wish to set up N1MM Plus, you'll need to have three serial ports available, one with the CAT protocol, one with push to talk, and one with the WinKeyer protocol. If these ports aren't available, you'll need to create them. Okay, now let's walk through the COM port setup process. To set up a new COM port, first we press on the Add button and the Add Port window should appear. In the Add Port window, first under Port Protocol, we'll select CAT. Under Port Type, we'll select Serial. And under Serial Port, we'll select Flex VSP. The Client COM will be the lowest numbered COM port available on your computer. And the CAT COM will be a number 100 units higher than the client COM. For example, if I'm creating COM port 6, the CAT COM port number will be 106. Under the VFO slice, we'll set the VFO slice receiver to be associated with this port. For our purposes, we'll leave it as slice A. Finally, we'll enable the auto switch TX slice and press save. And in a few seconds, the newly created port will appear on your Smart SDR CAT window. Next, to create a serial port for push to talk, under Port Protocol, we select PTT. Under Port Type, we see there's only one option, which is Serial. And under Serial Port, again, we select Flex VSP. Under Client COM, we'll select the lowest number available on the computer's COM port list and the CATCOM number should be 100 units higher. We'll leave the VFO slice as slice A, but here is an option, RTS and DTR. We'll choose to select the RTS and deselect the DTR. The polarity will be active low, which means the pin on the TR relay will be grounded when the transmit command is passed to the radio. We'll leave the auto switch TX slice enabled and press save and in a few seconds the new PTT port should be available. You'll note that the designation under a serial PTT port will be P and the serial ports for the CAT protocol will be labeled C. Next we'll create a serial port for the WinKeyer. In the add port window under port protocol we select WinKeyer. The port type will be serial and the serial port will be Flex VSP. The client COM will be the lowest COM port number available on the computer and the CAT COM port should be 100 units higher. With that, we'll press the Save button and the new port should appear on your Smart SDR CAT window in a few seconds. Now, the number of the COM ports you've created are not important, but we will be using the numbers of the appropriate ports when we set up the N1MM Plus configuration window. We'll move to that in just a second. Now I'll start up the N1MM software and take a look at the entry window. In the entry window, there's a menu bar and I'll select config. 
Next I'll select Configure Ports, Mode Control, Audio and Others. The Configure window opens and I'll click on the Hardware tab. Under the Hardware tab you'll note a series of option boxes where we can select the ports, the radio type, and various other settings for N1MM. First of all, I'll select SO1V, Single Operator 1 VFO. And next I'll go back to the port column and select the CAT port. This will be the control channel where the commands are exchanged between the flex radio and the software. We'll use COM4 for our CAT port. So in the drop-down box I select COM4. Next, in the radio column, I'll select Flex 6000 series, and then I'll move over to the Details column and check Settings. In the COM4 Settings window, we'll set the speed, and I've set mine to 38,400. This will be your baud rate. The parity is set to None, the Data Bits is set to 8, and Stop Bits set to 1. I have DTR and RTS both set to always off and I will set the radio number to 1. I do not change the push to talk delay but I do put a check in the checkbox for PTT via radio command single sideband mode also for CW mode and digital mode. I do not make any changes in the remaining boxes on this window so I'll press OK. Now you note in the right hand side of this window there's some text which is a summary of the settings that you've made. You can use this as a double check. Next we'll go back and set up the push to talk port. Now as I look at my flex list of COM ports I see that COM5 is my push to talk port. So on my N1MM configure window I'll select COM5. Next I'll move to the CW slash other column and put a check mark there. So in the settings window for COM5 I'll set the RTS for push to talk and the DTR to always off. I'll make no other changes in this window so I'll press OK. Next I'll set up the COM port for the wind keyer. Looking at my flex list of COM ports I see that the wind key port is COM9. So in the port column I'll set the third drop-down box to COM9. I'll put a check in the CW slash other box and then press on settings. In the COM9 settings window I'll leave the DTR and RTS always off. I'll make no other changes in this window except putting a check in the win key box and then I'll check OK and close the window. And finally, I'll press OK in the Configure window also. That concludes the settings that I have to make to allow the Flex Radio to communicate with N1MM+. So I'll set the Entry window aside, and let's test out our settings to see if it works. I have some text files stored under one of the CW Transmit buttons on the Entry window, so I'll press one of those and see if the transmitter will respond. And lo and behold it does. So this is the configuration that works for me and I hope it'll be a good starting point for you also as you use N1MM with your flex radio. So I'll conclude this video here and hope you found it useful. With that I'll wish you all good luck and good DX. This is Al K0CN and thanks for watching.